what is the single vector that can replace components of 200 units horizontally to the right and 200 units along positive y. So we know that a vector has horizontal and vertical components. A vector has magnitude and direction. So for a vector to change, you can change magnitude, you can change direction, or you can change both magnitude and direction. Changing magnitude will be like going on a highway and changing from 30 miles per hour to 60 miles per hour. Changing direction will be if you go in circles at constant speed, you're definitely changing the direction, right? You're definitely changing the direction. And when do you change magnitude and direction? When you do not go at constant speed around a circle, that is one possibility of changing magnitude and direction. All right, so we have a triangle. And then what do we know about the triangle? Here is an angle theta. And then we have the adjacent side to theta. And we have the opposite side to theta. For our problem here, we have the opposite side as Vy. We have the horizontal side as Vx. So what is V? will be square root of vx squared plus vy squared. So that's our hypotenuse, all right? So that is the magnitude. Along the horizontal, we have 200 units. Along the vertical, we have 200 units. So what is the magnitude? Magnitude is given by square root of Vx squared plus Vy squared. So substitute 200 and what do we get? Square root of 80,000 which is 282.84. So what is the magnitude of the vector? 282.84. So horizontally we have 200, vertically we have 200, and now you have what? 282.84 at an angle. So now we need to know how to get that angle. Theta is tan inverse Vy over Vx. Vy, the y component divided by the x component. Tan inverse y divided by Vx. The y component is 200. The x component is 200. So what is the angle? Tan inverse 1. So what is tan inverse 1? Basically what we need is, what is that angle where the tangent is equal to 1? And the answer is 45 degrees. You have to put that into the calculator and you will see it is 45 degrees with respect to the horizontal. All right, with respect to the horizontal. Now, if you want the angle in radians, you have to convert degrees to radians. So 45 degrees is 45 degrees times 1. And you know that pi radian is equal to 180 degrees. What does that mean? That means pi divided by 180 is equivalent to 180 divided by pi is equivalent to 1, right? So if pi radians is equal to 180 degrees, then pi radian divided by 180 should be the same as 180 divided by pi, and that should be the same as 1, right? Anything divided by itself is 1. We want to get rid of degrees. So 45 degrees times 1 and replace 1 by 
pi over 180y because degrees and degrees cancel so we get our answer in radian so 45 degrees what is pi radian equal to 3.14 so if you have a vector like this and a vector like this and if this is 200 and if this is 200 then we can replace those two vectors by a single vector which has a magnitude of 282.84 and at what angle 45 degrees we have a horizontal we have a vertical to begin with all right so you put horizontal and then do the vertical and then you join all right so as you can see the horizontal the horizontal component of that vector is to the right the vertical component of this vector is vertically up and this is george matthew signing off good luck